was toe to toe versus the champions of USD in uh, the first set. Yeah. But they uh, fell down. At least it was a more respectable margin, 25 to 20, correct, correct. in set number one. That's right. This time, uh, what USD did was they, uh, you did was they went toe to toe with USD for the first 50 points. But after that, yon nakita natin yung separation from USD. And what USD did right was the combination plays that they had, and they figured out that. UP can definitely block them, like what Coach Rui Pasado was saying. So they went to those drop shots, off speed hits, those, uh, like even Dimakulangan had a chance of uh, doing that, and they got those points out of those off speed hits, and uh, that confused the defense already of USD. And by the time that that Torres play came in, ayun na, binarik na lang sa ating malalakas na play. That was one of the drop shots of Torres. He had, I think, two or three in this match. And the defense of USD a bit lost, especially when Belgado is in the back row. You know, when Belgado is in the front row, they really have a strong blocker in Belgado. That's why the USD plays uh, become less of a threat. But once he moves towards the back, whenever he's a backliner, ayun na naman, bumapalo na naman ng USD. And they miss that strong blocking of Belgado. So those are, those are the key things that UP has to improve on. When Belgado moves to the back row, and definitely make sure that the blocking is always there, plus their floor defense for, you know, to guard these strong spikers from USD. Towards the latter end of set number one, the uh, the blocking of UP became intermittent. Yes. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, but the part where uh, USD pulled away was the, was when Belgado was actually not on yes, the floor. Yes, correct. You're right in UP. that. You're right in that. So, um, uh, you, you got to give credit, of course, to USD. Remember, after that timeout that UP was trying to, you know, catch up with them, they set up a play and that, uh, they did it and uh, they... They got that uh, serve right back, and the rest was history. USD winning this first set, 16 from the attack. Wow, three blocks and unforced errors having nine. UP with seven attack points. Hindi masyado kataasan, and blocks having the same team. They're toe to toe when it comes to blocking, and unforced errors have four uh, in that game. Almost double in attack points yes. for USD. That's right. See the discrepancy right there. I can tell you um, what. Yeah, you know, UP, these guys will have to work on here in set number two to uh, extend it to more than a yeah. three-set match. That's right, because the previous two encounters are uh, all three setters. Arda. It's our first set. Number two and scores for UP. Puts them on the board for, uh, well, earlier than UST. Martinez, fourth year player from UP. Arda, getting some momentum, bringing into the attack. Bicep! Oh, what coverage from uh, Tecanya. Comes back on the uh, first touch. Sanger tips it. Practically a free ball. Good coverage from behind by Sanger for UP. Here comes Basse again. <laughs> Eager in the, the previous exchange, you know, Philip Yaga that could have been set for a better play. And uh, USC took advantage of that uh, easy return from UP. Well, Belgado trying to catch USD, un uh, you know, unprepared. Yes, that's right. Flat footed. But not the case. I mean, they're not the uh, defending champions for nothing. Ramos is serving now for USD. Makoto, back set. Arda. Again, scoring this time from the other side. Arda, I remember, had a game that he scored 27 points, you know, so this is definitely one of the guys that can make it happen for UP. Look at how he squeezed that ball through the, the gap in the blockers. Great play from Arda. Oh, ho, ho, ho. On the pick, Ilado. He's all smiles. That's right, middle attacker Ilado. So quick, you know, it's so hard to predict if uh, the Makulangan is going to give it to him. And plus, it's hard to do because he had so quick. But if he's going to get the ball, he's going to get the rest of it. You see those block up there. Here comes Torres. The block goes in. And Torres gives Belgado, Belgado the uh, finger wagging as well. Delgado thought that was a block that went into the court of USD. But we're going to look at it, and it went straight down into him. So, see, that, look at, look at uh, Torres give that uh, thumbs down sign. Oh, that was 
2-0, and Delgado uh, is letting my photo know about it. Yes, that's right, that's right. Whenever Delgado goes up for those quick plays, you got to set it really high, because he, he jumps so high, his hands are already up there, and if, if you set it low, chances are he's not going to get that goal. Over to the other side, the block goes from the USD. Lucindo, better smart from Lucindo. Off the block of Pecania. People continuing to fly yes, into I was about to say. the arena in San Juan. Ooh, combination play for Pecania. Execution. <laughs> you see how high Pecania was. That's right. You see how open, look at this. The quicker Ilado will get two blockers from UP. And there you can see Pecania having su such a big opening. Perfect way to spend your Sunday afternoon. Exactly. You say, but then it's going to be a bubble. Remember, we have a bubble. After this game, it's going to be Women's Championship. Mm -hmm. FEU against De La Salle. That's also a good one. Game number one. That, though, will be a little different because the defending champions are more of the underdogs yes, because they are seated number two. Yes. I mean, to the finals one, De La Salle, who was not even part of the final four picture last season, is the number one seed. Target than Martinez. Look at this. See, don't be not that game of Toto Talaga. Torres stands about 6'4 and with his reach. So hard to stop. Here comes Torres again. That is a four touch run. Torres unable to get across the net. Correct, that time he was blocked by the net. The set was a bit far away. He'd be getting the point. A lot of shutter bugs here at the arena. Yeah. And you can notice a lot of flashes. Oh, Torres who uh, tried to go over the net. He was successful yes. while grazing the finger to wow. the blockers. Yeah. And there's uh, the smile from Torres, one of the veterans of USD, as they are on top by 3 8 5 in set number two. Final game one between the USD Growling Tigers against the UP Fighting Maroons. Now, USD Growling Tigers, ready John Boss. He has two finals experience to back him up. But he's more excited for this game because it is his last play here and has vowed to give it his all. Now, many thought that USD is well rested, but he said they haven't stopped practicing and preparing themselves. He's confident in saying that USD has a strong foundation and basic body, but that would be so hard for the others to beat. They have prepared well and for the variety in the complex game of UP. Martinez and Delgado's offensive game, Eric. Thank you, Riza Diaz. One more chance to win a championship for Reddy John Balsin. One of the strongest hitters on the floor, actually in the men's division. That's uh, John Paul Torres. Uh -huh. And you know what? If you're going to pick a seat here at the arena, I would suggest you sit <laughs> higher up yeah. in uh, the levels because you... <laughs>